Right now, the battle over abortion access continues. Dueling decisions about the legality of a commonly used abortion pill have courts split, and that fight could ultimately go to the Supreme Court. Elected officials in favor of abortion rights now vowing to protect access to this drug. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. A standoff this week over abortion, yet again dividing the country. Democratic lawmakers introducing legislation today to protect access to the abortion pill. It is our obligation to stand up to this most recent assault on our reproductive rights. Though it's sure to fail in a Republican-controlled House. And I think it's important that we protect the sanctity of life. I believe in state rights. The political fight follows a ruling from a federal judge in Texas, invalidating the FDA's nationwide approval of Mifepristone after more than 20 years as the most widely used abortion method in the country. The pill is still available for now. The judge put his own ruling on hold for a week while the Biden administration appeals. If the decision stands, it will put women's health at risk and undermine the FDA's ability to ensure patients have access to safe and effective medications when they need them the most. At the same time, another federal judge in Washington state ordered the FDA to keep Mifepristone on the shelves. But that decision only applies to the 17 blue states in Washington, D.C. that sued over it. It's about making sure you determine when you want to stop start a family, not some bureaucrat, not some judge does that. Now, with the abortion pill debate likely destined for the same conservative-leaning Supreme Court that overturned the federal right to an abortion, the nation may be headed for a reboot on the hotly contested fight over reproductive rights, just as the 2024 race for the White House heats up. The overturning of Roe v. Wade set off a cascade of abortion restrictions in Republican-led states, but after some disappointing midterm election results, some GOP leaders are trying to strike a balance now in their messaging on this topic heading into 2024. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.